Hello, John Ruberry with Marathon Pundit Video, reporting from Troy Grove, Illinois in LaSalle County. We are at the Wild Bill Hickok State Memorial. Wild Bill Hickok, as with another famous Westerner, Wyatt Earp was born in Northern Illinois. And I'm gonna read the marker here. James Butler, Wild Bill Hickok, was born May 27th in a house that stood on this block. His parents, William A. and Polly Butler Hickok, settled in Troy Grove, then called Homer in 1836 after living for a time at Tonica, then called Bailey's Point. Here William operated a store until it failed when he moved his growing family to a farm north of town. On William's death in 1852, the family moved back into Troy Grove. Young James worked to support the family until about 1856 when he left Troy Grove for Kansas Territory and set out on the path that would bring him fame. William Hickok supported anti-slavery efforts and his homes were said to have served as stops on the Underground Railroad that aided African Americans fleeing from bondage. That is one heck of a resemblance of Wild Bill Hickok. Again, we're just steps from his birthplace, or birth site, I should say. And in addition to his fame out west as a scout, Wild Bill was also a scout for the Union, tying into his father's um, service um, with the Underground Railroad uh, during the Civil War. Next stop, LaSalle. Just as the Erie Canal opened up the Great Lakes region to settlement, the Illinois-Michigan Canal opened up the west to the commerce of the Great Lakes. Below is a lock of the Illinois-Michigan Canal with a replica barge at LaSalle, Illinois, near Troy Grove. Okay, that's all interesting and great, but uh, what does that have to do with Wild Bill Hickok? Well, Hickok was a mule driver for, or at, I should say, the Illinois-Michigan Canal. The barges, such as the replica barge we saw in the previous clip, well, it was pulled by mules. And here are a couple of them. They're not descendants. Um, people today wouldn't get the joke, but uh, mules are sterile. And there is a, I think it's bronze, a replica of Wild Bill Hickok. And I'm going to read the inscription here from the I and M Canal passage marker. The most famous mule driver on the I and M Canal was James Butler, Wild Bill Hickok. In the first recorded fight of his career, Bill tangled with a fellow canal driver who had been abusing his mules. Both men tumbled into the canal, but Bill emerged victorious. Bill eventually headed west, where he gained fame as a lawman and a gunslinger. At the age of 39, he was shot in the back while playing cards in Deadwood, South Dakota. This is Marathon Pundit Video in LaSalle, Illinois. Thank you for watching.